Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. How y'all doing? Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadiz. You know, I really been thinking, y'all. Um, I hope y'all excuse my meltdown that I had to have today, but I had to purge. And I just kind of give you myself who I am. You know, I don't make no apologies for that. And it, it was just the way I felt. I felt so um, vindicated. Not so much like I kept explaining that I think Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are some saviors. It's just that I couldn't stand to see Donald Trump anymore. And my anxiety had kicked in so high just seeing him every day, not knowing what kind of antics he was going to pull, um, what kind of racist trope was it going to be, the mantra of the day. And I think all of us, people of color, have um, dispersed a whole lot of cortisol on ourselves for these last few years. And it got me to thinking how the Jews and Nazi, the Nazi, you know, the Nazi period in Germany, uh, and how those Jewish people must have really felt to know that they were hunted down like that. You know, and sometimes when you only when you can't see past yourself, you know, it makes it a little difficult. But the worst thing about that whole thing, which made me relate, is because as a kid, I was always wondering, the question was, how could those people sit around and let Hitler do what he did? Put those people in ovens, in gas chambers, and people did nothing. And, and, and as a kid, I wondered, how, how could that happen? How could you allow somebody to do something so crazy and lead you on a march so detrimental to the human family and you just follow blindly and not even have the wherewithal to wake up and say, hey, 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 wait a minute. Don't this sound a little crazy? I mean, wait a minute. Are we actually going to put the people in the oven and allow them to be cooked like we do a meal? Are we going to actually put these people in gas, give them gas showers? Are we going to actually starve them to death and throw them in big graves? How can the people sit back and allow that to happen? Because they were getting the propaganda. They was hearing it. They was hearing it in the news. And as a child, you are never thinking that one day that child, the and the question, to the answer to that question will be so profound. Because now I'm a grown ass woman with children and grandchildren, and I'm sitting up here wondering how could these people allowed Donald Trump to do what he did, and nobody did nothing. They heard him calling people names. They know he's been accused of rape, and he'll grab them by the pussies. And just, he looks at his daughter in a way that is just not healthy. I'm so disturbed every time I see him and his daughter together in the way he looks at her. What is going on there? And the evangelicals like Paula White and them saying that God sent him from heaven as opposed to seeing the destruction that he's doing to the human family and not making no comment about that. They don't even care. All they care about is white people. They don't care about us. They don't care about nobody brown, nobody black. For her to sit back, and these, all these people that follow him, they are just like that cult that followed Hitler and didn't mind that he put those people into concentration camp. Like they're going to pretty much, um, the blueprint and the die has already been cast. 
So what's understood don't even need to be said. How? You know, America is an experiment. I don't know if it's an experiment going totally bad. I don't know if it's going totally bad. An experiment going totally bad. Or if it's just something that we have to figure out. And I mean, really figure out. Because we should be sinking. Donald Trump lost. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't even feel like a victory other than I don't have to see Donald Trump every day. But they didn't make no other leads. They didn't get rid of Moscow Mitch, Lindsey Graham, all this corruption. And the, and the white people see it. And it's telling me that a lot of y'all are just... No way around it. A lot of y'all really corrupt. You are enablers. Accessories. And you sit around and act like you have a love for humanity. And you eat your uh, vegan sandwiches. And your... And our lattes. I don't eat meat. Oh, yes, I'm a vegan. Yes, I'm a vegan. With that being said, you're the ones have no love for humanity. None whatsoever. None. It's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. How I look at us as a country now. It really is. All those people sat back and watched Hitler put those people in those ovens. They did nothing. Nothing to stop it. We have black people being shot down by the police every day, putting knees on our necks, being threatened out here, hunted. We're being hunted every day. We're to pray. And some of y'all fine with that. As long as it ain't you and your kids and your family. But little do you know. They'll come for you next. They'll come for you next. And I know one thing. I got the answer to my question that I had when I was a little, little child. I now have the answer to that. How could people sit back and watch all that stuff happen? Because they complacent. And somewhere in the back of their mind, they feel it's okay. As long as it ain't them. As long as it ain't them. Now, I don't think I'm too far off base. I, w- I want to know what y'all think. Because I am i don't feel like I'm too far off base with that. Um, I've had a chance to think. I've purged. I've gotten all that energy out. And 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 I reflected, and that's what I came up with. That's how Hitler got a chance to do what he did. The same spirit of a Donald Trump, the same spirit was allowed to do what he did, and the people accepted it. In fact, they talking about letting him should he run again. 
And the Republican Party is never the same. So you already know not what you got. No matter what. You you you, you know what you got. You got people that hate black and brown. And the ones who, who are so stupid. Talk about Latinos for Trump. Blacks for Trump. Y'all some of the most despicable um, Stockholm Syndrome people I've ever seen. Um, Massa, you we cold Massa, Massa we freezing. That's who y'all remind me of. That ain't gonna get you nowhere. Those of you who want to reject your own, our own, because you know we've been abused by somebody because somebody abused us, and it's a dysfunction. So we decided to shut down on all black people and decide to date white people now or decide to do whatever we to say we can do to get away from who they say we are. But who are you? You're one of them people that are stand with somebody like that. As a, as a black person, you somebody that will stand with somebody that's that corrupt. All the stuff he did, none of it bothered you because you made a few dollars. Are you kidding? Yep, you one of them people too that will stand by and let people go to the gas chamber. That's how much faith I have in y'all now. Not very much. All right, if you like what you hear, y'all tell me your opinion, please, and I'll 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 be back in the next video. Bye bye.